is reflect the obsidian killer. Also, that's a pretty cool thing I did with my hair just there. Regardless, Reflect is an exceptionally cool app that decided to reach out, and I said, hey, I'll, I'll, I'll watch this thing. You wanna sponsor my channel? That's fine. You guys know I do unbiased reviews on this channel, but I am gonna do a deep dive into this software and explain exactly what it is. Because it could be the Obsidian Killer. At a base level, when I look at this thing, I go, oh. So this is like what Obsidian would look like if there wasn't a uh, bunch of different plugins and stuff. As you can see, they have an iOS app. They have nice calendar integrations. It's built for speed. The product itself can give your brain superpowers, evidently. And you can get started right now for a 14-day free trial, and then it becomes $10 a month. There is an offline sync, which is really cool, and there's even a really fun extension that I'm gonna show you at the end of this video if you stick around. Jumping right in, you'll see that Reflect doesn't have what looks like a lot to it, and that's pretty nice. I'll take simplicity any day. When I do control K though, you will see that there is a lot of cool stuff. So like, for example, you'll see there's reflect lets you, and this right away shows me that this thing's smart because it figured out search very easily without me having to actually try. And then once I'm within an application, you'll see that it showcases the outgoing links and tags right here. So for example, the hashtag company one and the domain is reflect app. I click on this, you'll see that I'll go into that and then I can go back into company. And it is a very well linked together note taking application. And you'll see over here, you have the ability to pin and unpin notes to this section over here. So this could essentially turn into something where you have different sections. And I am very appreciative that they do have a really nice, they do have really nice account set of modules here that kind of just show you how this whole system works. It is an application that does have a native Outlook and Google Calendar integration, which is really cool. So I go into daily notes right here. You'll see that I'm able to take notes based on the day it is. So right now it's this Thursday and it gives you a really nice onboarding setup here. So sync calendar and contacts. Okay, let's try this out. So in the connections, I can add my Google account right here and I'm gonna go to admin at riseproductive.com and it allows you to actually take your contacts within there as well. So there should be a few of my contacts in there. So we can close this and then we can select the specific calendars. All right, so let's do the ones that I usually do. Uh, meetings definitely needs to be in there. And then let's see what we got. The amount of contacts, that makes it a lot of sense. I don't really use it pretty often, okay? So also you can change the graph color. I like blue. Let's go back. All right, look at that, a native calendar integration. This is something you don't get to see often in apps like these. Uh, I really do appreciate that I'm gonna have my entire sort of daily plan out here in agenda. Uh, if I wanted to limit it though, just as I was at before, I could go back into the connections here and then just only show the meetings and then boom, I'd see all the meetings I had for the day, which is a fair amount, honestly. It's pretty like, this is like real agenda stuff, but it's cool. Cause then if I go into this day, you'll see, I can see the meeting for that day. And it goes through it in a calendar format with a daily note format that is very quick and easy to navigate through. Going back to today though, I'm just gonna show you on this Friday that is actually today, a couple different notes right here. So if I do backslash, you will see similar functionality to other apps like Notion uh, with different headers. So if we do H1, daily agenda, and then I can do slash to do, do run dishwasher, record videos. And then if I wanted to add a tag, I can do YouTube and create this tag. Then you'll see here, it has an outgoing link to it. And I'm gonna do meet with Simone at consulting and then Say I had specific notes I wanted to put under this. It doesn't have to all be checkboxes. You'll see if I do a slash here, you can have bulleted lists, quotes, backlinks to other notes, and even put this thing called company, which is a type tag. It is really, it's just really cool how this app works because if you see, if I go to uh, my map here, what I started to build is really cool. So on Friday here, we see the start of this sort of map, right? Where it showcases the agenda, everything within it, and what would be really cool is if I connected this day to another point. So obviously we see this journal is kind of pre-built in, right? So this is a specific note, which I can pin over here. My daily notes, what I'm gonna do is think about, about ways to improve Notion consulting business, do a tag to the journal or a backlink to the journal, and then boom, we created a backlink. So how is that gonna look? In this map section, we'll see that this Friday date associated to the journal. So that's just like a basic way to backlink. So when working in my notes, I can backlink it to different pages, go within here, and then I can actually have a journaling session 
about how to improve my Notion consulting business. Now, very similarly to this, they have an awesome Chrome extension where you can install it right here. And then once we're in here, I'm gonna pin this, I'm gonna authenticate it really quick. And then you can also authenticate for your Google, your Amazon Kindle sync, which is cool. So say I was on an example page here, it's going YouTube, and I saw a really nice video by Better Your Creating that I wanted to look at. Huh, the future of Notion, okay. Go in here, and then I'm gonna add this right here, and I'm gonna actually add it to hashtag YouTube. That to reflect. We go back into here, and you'll see on this day, there's gonna be a link to this, which is very nice because it actually makes its own note page as well. Its type is a link, and you can expand upon the writing that you have within here. So just go within here, write more about it. I'm thinking about using this for a future update about how I'm improving my YouTube setup. Maybe I should make a YouTube page and reflect. So let's go over here, all notes. I think I'm gonna make a new note and call it YouTube. So now if I go back with control and left bracket a couple times, here is the slash backlink. We can do bracket YouTube slash backlink YouTube. So you can do either the backlink or you can do bracket bracket and then YouTube. And then it'll work like that. And then it'll show up in the map connecting. Ooh, it got really fun really quick. Do you see what's happening here on this map? We got some notes from my Kindle sync. That's right. I got all my highlights from my Kindle in here. How cool is that? How quick and easy was that? And not only this, but it also has, as mentioned previously, you know, we got this cool calendar, right? What we actually can do here is make another one. So if I go here and click on this, you see we can edit the attendees, add to daily notes. So attendees, let's go Alyssa and Dimitri Panici. We can create a backlink note to the meeting, just like this. And honestly, the more I'm using this app, the more I'm impressed. So the last thing about this that's amazing is the fact that it implemented AI. So if I do slash AI palette, for example, and I actually took the five ways of improving this Notion setup, okay. You know what, let's go to that YouTube one I made. Let's make it a one like this. So let's do a new video idea. So a video idea could be five ways that I'm improving my note taking setup. And then do slash AI and then generate a short overview for an article is a good option. Short outline for an article. And then the context would just be, actually if I highlighted it and did that instead, it'd be better. So yeah, generate an outline for the article. This is pretty cool. A lot of these applications are coming in. They got the replace, the insert, try again. So let's do an insert. And then based off this text, do an AI assist. Example titles, so titles. So just a few title options. Based off of this, actually, let's pick this one. Very cool. Very cool and quick and easy to use. It's honestly surprising that people haven't talked about this app more. So thank you guys so much for sponsoring this video and make sure to check it out by clicking the link down below. And make sure you check out this video on how to improve your productivity even more.